Hello! Um, this is a problem that was posted onto 3D CAD jewelry and it's how to draw a rope sort of style curve uh, onto this anchor. Um, so I thought I'd have a go at it. So if we click on that curve, get a length. Uh, if you spell it right, it works better. There we go, so we've got 31.676 millimetres, so we'll copy that and then we'll draw a line um, that's going to be from there and then we'll paste our um, measurement there, hold shift, Ooh. oh I know why, it's there, we're in the wrong mode, there we go. Um, and then what we're going to do from that is highlight it so we can find it in this view. There we go. Put it in the middle so we can find it. Um, pick a circle. But we'll pick that one. So it's a circle radius. We'll go from there and then we'll pick, I don't know, 0.5 maybe. Uh, uh, and then we'll click on that and we'll go transform array polar uh, around that three amps is already in and we want 360 yes and then we'll select those and then we will go that one and click him and click these away like that and then we'll highlight or press join and uh, Stay highlighted, dispose to me quicker. Fill it. Uh, oops, spell wrong again. What's not tonight with spellings? Uh, radius point one, maybe. Uh, so we'll go there, there. There and there. Press it enter to rerun the command there and there. Yep, that'll do us. And then we'll go into this and we'll go surface, sweep one rail, and we'll select that rail, that, and we'll sweep it along like that. OK that, and then cap that. And that's given us this um, um, shape here. I'll go in there so we can have a look at it. There we go. Um, and what I'm not going to do is I'm going to highlight that a different colour so we can find it easier. So we'll just go into the layer menu, change object menu. Um, we'll go back into um, wireframe there. And then <coughs> we'll go transform, flow along a curve, we'll click that. Uh, and I'll tell you what we'll do before we do that. <laughs> uh, transform. Uh, and then we'll go twist um, and start a twist axis this is the end of that red so just wait till the red flashes up uh, and we want infinite we, yes and that means it'll do the whole length of it and uh, not leave the ends and to just twist the middle rigid we want no and copy we want no or we'll copy no we don't want and then type in, I don't know, 7200, which is 20 turns. There we go. And that's given us this sort of shape now. Uh, and then if we go transform, flow along a curve, click onto that, click into that, click onto that. Oh, but it does work better if you read the command line. So we we'll rerun it. Select objects to flow. We want to flow that. Uh, enter. That's what we missed. Base curve is that one. And the curve we want to flow along is that one. So there we go. So let's have a look at that in that mode. I don't know if that looks ropey or not. <laughs> a bit of a ropey job. <laughs> uh, 
sort of getting there in it. A little bit of playing maybe. You don't have to put the um let's see if that makes any difference. So let's delete that. Oops, no not that. Oh yep, yeah, just that wireframe. Let's delete that. Delete that. So I think maybe that was funny because I put too much of a bevel on that. So, let's see if it makes any difference. So let's hold that down so we get to that. So we'll go there. We can just do this like this now without the... Uh, uh, let's go into that. Well, like that, you can go doop, doop, doop. Oops, that one. There we go. And then join up. I don't know if it'll look any different. There's one way to find out. Uh, so, surface, sweet one rail, that, and we want this one. Okay, that, and we want cap, and then we want transform, twist, objects to twist is that one, um, we want our red flashing up, red flashing up, there we go, and 7200. Okay, and then let's get this one bigger. We want to go surface, oh, not surface, transform, flow along a curve, that one, that one, ah, that one, enter, I oh, hope remember the enter. Now let's see if that looks any better. don't know really <laughs> maybe maybe we need to do an extra rope or a weave in and out rope what are we getting there a bit of playing you could get that right um, what's the one up there did I say so, so let's uh, transform flow along a curve like that and when done um, stretch, yes, maybe, I don't know, and we'll click that one, and we'll click that one, and then we'll click into that, uh, no, that's a bit squashed, <laughs> it looks like a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> anyway, Sure, you can play around with that, but that's how I'd do it. That's how I'd put a vacuum cleaner hose on an anchor. Maybe if I didn't twist it so much. <laughs> okay, hope that helps anyway. See us now. Bye.